Simply built here, and I'm showing you how to build a longer USB. Right here we have the USB port, and then we have the opposite gendered port. Alright, actually, I think they're both male. I think they'd be considered both male, yeah. They're both male considerably, you know. Male ports. Alright, and what I've already done, because I thought I was recording, but found out I wasn't. My bad. What you're going to do is cut them, and you can use a scissors if you'd like. Uh, doesn't really matter what you use. Just cut them. And then once you cut them, you're going to have to get some sort of wire. I am using 22 gauge speaker wire for this. So, you can see. Actually, this is 24 gauge. Got from Menards, 100 feet of it for 5 bucks. So, probably be seeing me use this in my future experiments. And what you're going to do is uh, take all the stuff, start putting it together. that and as you can see I've already gone through and started doing this on my own and so you guys can see it okay we're back <coughs> sorry like I said before actually I didn't say it in this one I am sick so all right, what we did was we well I got them all done and then I took the other side and I used a box cutter and cut the ends I'm going to use my wonderful wire stripper. And I can't really do this with one hand. Got it. And you're going to repeat what you basically did here on this end by stripping it. Sticking it in your stripper. And you, like I said, you can use those strippers. <laughs> That's what she said. You can use those, but I choose to use the auto stripper because it takes a lot less time. Okay, I'll come back to you guys when I am done doing this work. Alright guys, I have just finished doing all the electrical tape, and now we can put that away. So, that ain't needed anymore. Uh, electrical tape, keep it. We're going to need the wire tie still. So if you have wire ties on you, I don't believe you will need the stripper unless you did something wrong. You won't need this unless you did something wrong. You won't need this unless you did something yet again wrong. So what we're gonna keep on the table now is scissors, wire tape, uh, wire ties, and electrical tape. All right. What you're gonna do is take your electrical tape. And what you're going to have to do with this electrical tape is wrap it around the finished product. So, I just cut it up for myself. So, so I can do this with one hand. And I don't know how good you can see this. I'm putting you under my chin. Alright. Wrap it around. And then... Get your other piece. Take the electrical tape. And wrap it around. Now you've got it wrapped around. And if you feel you've got some wire still exposed, take your last piece. Just get that stuff out of the way. And there you go. Alright, now that you got there, you won't need the electrical tape anymore. All you're going to need now is just there's no wire ties. <coughs> Alright, note, before you did all that electrical taping, I highly suggest uh, making sure it works. So what I'm going to do is unplug that out of my laptop. And it's an on laptop, so there we go. And what I'm going to do is plug this into the USB. It is 3.0. So, and take your phone.
try plugging it in the earphone. And it's charging. That means you did everything right. And if it's not charging, uh, then there's going to be something wrong, and I hope you didn't do this as I was doing it. I will make sure I put a note in there, but before you actually update it, because then you got to rip all that off. All right, what you're going to do now is take your cable wire ties, whatever you like to call them, wrap it around a certain distance of wire, and I did so. Make sure it's even, and wire tie. Do so with the rest. Alright. And it just reset it, and it says charging still. Still plugged in. And just to make sure you guys know, I'm gonna wire. And it's all the way around to the phone. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Oh, by the way, if when you're cutting the ends off these with the scissors, make sure you don't cut your wire. That is a very important thing because I almost did so, but luckily I didn't. All right, make sure. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, rate, thumbs up. Um. If you would like to see more videos like this, or videos for certain things, comment what you would like to see. And I just want to get out of the way right now that these uh, this will work with anything. You can do this with an audio wire. I have uh, all right there. Uh, um, you can do this with auxiliary. You can you would cut, splice. There's two wires in an auxiliary: the negative, which is right down there, and the positive, the tip. Negatives in the back positive in the front. And there's two wires, you just gotta basically take your speaker wire and splice the auxiliary, splice it, and then electrical tape it all in place. And then if you want, like I said, we'll cable tie it. And I'm just gonna show you guys this this did work with my um I did it a lot. A little different, I use uh, wire nuts in there instead of just doing the phony way. But I did do this with my Apple cable. Thanks for watching, guys. And have a nice day.